All right, so finding parts of a group. This is easy. That's all I can say. This is easy. Denominator tells you how many groups. The whole number, you're dividing that amongst those groups. The numerator, you multiply that by the number in each group or in one group. So let's look at 3 fourths of 16. Which is the same as saying 3 fourths times 16. How many groups are we going to have? Four. Four. One, two, three, four. So each of these is a group. Now you need to know columns run up and down. Our columns are vertical. Rows are horizontal, because that's going to come up today as well. So we have to divide these 16 among these four groups. So that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're looking at three of the groups. So 4 times 3 is going to give me 12. 4 times 3 is going to give me 12. How many groups? Divide, um, take the whole number, divide it into those groups. The numerator, multiply by the number in one group. I'm going to call it and I'll put it on the team with you. All right, let's take two fifths of 20. Two fifths multiplied by 20. How many groups? Four. Five. Five. Five groups. So, I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Our groups can run horizontal or vertical. I'll show you another way you could do the groups. I take 20 and I divide them into those five groups. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I've divided those 20 amongst the four groups. Now I just want to know how many are in two of those groups. And how many is that? Ten. And how many is that? Eight. Eight. And that is eight. I'm going to show you another way you may see the groups listed. But let's look at two-thirds of 21, or two-thirds times 21. Felix? Does it matter if you do it um, um, horizontally or um, vertically? No, but if they do it, you're going to have to understand how the groups are divided. You're going to have to understand that rows are horizontal and columns are vertical, because it's going to ask those questions. How many groups? Three. Three. Another way you might see the groups? It's like this. We've got three groups. And if we divide the 21, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. And how many groups are we looking at? Two. two. And how many are in two groups? Fourteen. I get this now. Easy peasy, raw chicken squeezy. Yeah.